The next text structure we're going to be taking a look at is chronological or sequence. A chronological text structure goes in order. We're going to add both words to our graphic organizer chart because it's important in case we don't know what chron chronological means yet, you'll have them both on here. So we'll put chronological and then in parentheses, sequence. So the purpose of a chronological or sequence text structure is to outline a sequence of events or to give the steps on how to do something. A chronological or sequence text structure can be both a narrative, giving you lots of words, or it could also just be a list of steps on how to complete something. Some questions you might ask yourself is, is the author describing an event in order? You could also think, is it giving the steps that need to be followed? Are there steps that need to be followed? Now, one, a lot of times you'll see clue words such as first, next, last, after, etc. Those will give you clues that you're looking at a sequence or chronological text structure. You also might see something that says like the history of something. For example, if you were looking at the history of marshmallows or the history of Halloween, that would be something that would be a chronological text structure. It could also be instructions. Now, when we think about our visual, we think of it kind of like a timeline. Give some information and putting those pieces of information in order. Finally, an example would be about carving a jack-o'-lantern. First, you cut the top off the pumpkin. What do we do after we cut the top off the pumpkin? Oh, now it's the gross part. Then you scoop out the insides. Now that you've learned a little bit more about chronological or a sequence text structure, go ahead and check out the article and answer some of the questions.